If you love God, prove it. Let me say something. I guess some people may believe that I think myself to be this perfect top of the line person. Listen, I was or am or halfway between an introvert. Now, I don't know every single introvert, but I believe introverts, I guess, don't really have interest in helping many people. <laughs> I don't believe introverts <laughs> like to put themselves out as in, how can I say that? make themselves open, open to many people. <sighs> Let me say this too. If you look at some of my videos, I believe in some of them, I speak about some bad things I did in my past. So, Listen, don't let demons manipulate you. If you say that God has brought you to this channel, how can you leave within the next week or the next month? <laughs> Do you believe that? Okay, let me say this. If you are being manipulated by demons, If you are, do you believe that they are going to be happy when you are being taught how to change? I don't think so. So if that is true, and if I am trying to help you, and if you are having this negative reaction toward it, what can you conclude? Well, perhaps it may be demons, right? <laughs> Listen, let me say this. Let me say some more bad things about myself, I guess, to make you feel better. <laughs> In my past, I was a really, really mean guy really really mean i would curse i had a nasty mouth i would steal i would cheat lie fornicate commit adultery so many things and i believe because of it <laughs> i suffered so much the reason why I am serving God now, yes, it is because of God's grace, yes. But one of the many reasons I believe I started to notice, hey, the more evil I act, the more I get punished. So it is not beneficial <laughs> for me to continue to sin. So let me try to, to change. That is, I believe, one of many reasons why I changed. Because I got tired of bad things happening to me because of the bad way that I was acting. Listen, things can always get worse. Believe me. <laughs> things can always get worse. So yes, I liked going to clubs back then, going to clubs and I guess they are called nightclubs or bars, hmm, something like that. Talking to this girl, blah, 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 blah. But I started to think in so many words, 
it is not worth it. It is not worth it. At a particular time in my life, I used to hate everyone. <laughs> I truly did. Even if I did not know who you were, I hated you anyway because I had, I believe at that time, I had so much hate within me. I just hated everyone. I hated everyone and I really did not want to be close to anyone as well at that point of time. And the more that I learned of God and the more that I wanted to change, man, I believe God had to purge all of that filth out of me and it was not I don't believe it was a short process it was not I don't believe I don't believe and <laughs> ah, I believe one of the reasons why I can teach on forgiveness and other behavioral issues because I believe I went through much of it. And I had to change from it. So when I come to you saying that you need to do this and that, you have to think to yourself, there is a reason why I am telling you that. I believe I tried to find an easier way. But I learned that doing it the right way <laughs> is the best way. There is no shortcuts. I guess you can say the shortcut is doing it right. <laughs> when I tell you that you need to do this and you need to do that and blah, 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 don't say, Kevin, how can you say that? You don't know me. But didn't you say that God brought you to my channel? So I guess if God brought you to my channel, chances are it is for me to help you. Not that I am better than you. Not that I am Super Kev, Super Uncle Kev. No, because I need help too. <laughs> I believe... I make videos about asking people to pray for me, right? So don't get prideful and I guess think to yourself, who do you think you are, Kevin, saying that you can help me? <laughs> Let's go to Ephesians chapter 4. Verse 32, to the left is the King James Version, to the right is the Expanded Bible. Where is my phone? <laughs> I can't find it. Oh, there we go. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. So what is the saying here? And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. Let me say this. And I believe this as well. I find this to be true. I find that if you want to make a person change, I find that, and I believe this, 
show that person unconditional love. Be for that person even when they are wrong. Always be helpful and loving and use kind words toward that person and I am telling you, chances are, I believe, they will change. Even if they may not want to change, I believe when you are showing them unconditional love, I believe that is what is going to make them change. I find that to be true so much. So much. But I believe the problem lies people don't want to go through pain. I believe that. So if a person is treating them wrongly, a person may feel justified to treat that person wrongly as well. I believe that. And when you do this eye for an eye thing, how can anything get solved? If anything, I believe things are going to get worse. So, it is not so much about your enemy changing, it is about you changing. Because, I believe this too, if you continue to treat a person rightly while they are treating you wrongly, after a while, I believe that person is going to think to him or herself, hey, in so many words, why is this person treating me so well Why I am treating that person like trash? What is going on? And I believe because of that and because of the grace of God, I believe that person will change. And I believe too that person may be willing to listen to you when you teach them about God. Listen, I believe almost anyone can talk to a person about God. But how many people can live it? Listen, I believe some people have been hurt so badly where words may not reach them. So how you can reach a person is with love. I truly believe this. I am telling you, some people may know about God. What if you come across a person that knows the Bible better than you, but still choose to do you wrong? Are you telling me that you are going to come to that person, hey, John 3 and 16, <laughs> or, you know, hey, you really should not be treating me this way. They may already know that, but how can they change? Think about that. On, I believe you can change that person with unconditional love. Yes, you may be treated unfairly for a while, whatever. But think about this. What if that person changes? That is one less person going to hell. Yes, they may see Christians as hypocrites and liars and cheaters, but if you are showing that person how a true Christian is, that may be enough to change that person. Man, please listen. Ah. Get out of your head this 50-50 paradigm. Believing that, don't believe that everything should be 50-50. Man, ah. Stop believing that. In some cases, I guess they may be doing zero and you may have to do 100%, whatever. If
if you are doing right by people, I believe God is going to help you. If it's not your job that is helping you pay the bills, it is not your job that is putting food on your table. God can easily take away all of your finances, take away all your food. It is by God's grace that you have what you have now. So why would you cry about if someone is using you? Well, that person only contacts me when they want something. And? <laughs> Listen, I believe when you are a Christian, I believe you are going to be used many times. Nothing is ever 50-50. I believe that. Nothing is ever. And if you continue to have that thought into your mind, I believe bad things will happen to you. Well, Kevin, you know, in order for anyone to get anything out of me, first, they have to put in me first. That is selfishness. I believe that is selfishness. It is not about what people are doing for us. Even if, even if no one ever did anything for me, as I am now, I would still help those people anyway. When, when I do for people, I don't expect them to do anything for me in return. I don't. Because I know that everything comes from God. Man, and be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. We have to forgive everyone. I am not saying that you have to talk to that person every single day. I am not saying that you have to let that person punch you in your face every day. <laughs> No, what I am saying, we have to be there for people in some way or form, in some way or form. We have to help people when they are in need. Well, Kevin, when I was younger, my dad wasn't really at home and now he is asking me for money. Give that person money then. Well, I don't believe that is right because, you know, when I really needed him, he was not there for me. Whatever. Listen. Life is not life, if that makes any sense. Life is a test. You are being tested. I believe you are being tested. I believe God tests our character. If you want to go into heaven, I believe you have to be a certain way. Think about this. Do you believe that a constant or a persistent pedophile can get into heaven? Now, if that person repents of it and stop, then die, okay. But what if that person doesn't repent and stay that way purposely wanting to hurt children. What do you believe is going to happen to that person? Make sure you are showing love to other people. God bless you.